All right, the long-awaited CNC <coughs> router. Here we've got a uh, 3D printed fixture here for making the double wheel joints. The uh, router has a uh, water-cooled bit, which helps prolong bit life and keeps dust down. So there's no dust at all during this operation, so you don't have to wear a mask or worry about dust getting into your machine and screwing up the rails. The water feeds into this bucket, drains out this hole in the back, and drains back down into this bucket here. And it has a filter that's supposed to keep the big chunks out, but it looks like even the, the small pieces are getting through it and the water is turning black, but oh well. I have to change it once in a while. <coughs> Here's the water-cooled system for the water-cooled spindle, which connects right here. Let me turn this off. And here's the part toolpath running on CNC Linux. And the part we're going to make actually has to have two holes drilled in it to fasten it to the fixture. And I've made the molds so that it leaves marks where those holes go so that it makes it easy to drill them. And here's a piece that's already been drilled. Those are the only two holes that you have to make. The router makes all the rest of the holes. You just bolt right into the fixture. There's quite a bit of force acting on this during routing. You really have to bolt it down. All right. Turn the spindle on. That's not RPMs, it's frequency, so it's a pretty useless number. <clears throat> and hit the go button. Midnight right now. I hope I'm not keeping my neighbor awake. This tube holder is also 3D printed.
we got? These edges are pretty much ready to go. You don't have to do anything else to it. So you can see that they're really, really smooth. The parts consistently come out the same. There's a test to make sure that all the holes line up. And everything works great. No more band saws, no more sanding.